For this video, I'm not only going to be showing how to make drawers, but also how to install soft clothes runners easily. Okay, so it's time to put the drawer runners in, and I just have a simple spacer here, made some ply. I'm going to slip in here, and I have the supports for the drawer runners already pre-drilled. I marked out where they'll be touching the verticals. That way I will only use glue where it's needed and I won't have it dripping anywhere. So it's time to install the drawer runners now. And I have a piece of scrap here just to keep my space from the front and the spacer that I was using before. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to push it back to where the front catches the front end of that board. So now that the runners are in, it's time to start making the drawers. Ordinarily, I'd use some half inch or 12 mil ply. Um, since these things are so close to a 1x6, I am just going to use that and split it right down the middle or resaw it and go from there. So first, of course, we have to take a measurement to see how wide we're going to make these drawers. Ensure that you can slide front to back while touching both sides. It's a good idea to use tape so nothing falls in the well. And for the front and back portion of the drawer, you want a um, quarter to a half inch of room so that way you can set it up nice and easy. And to set up for the dado for the front and back of the drawer, all we're going to do is take one of the side pieces, put it to the fence and match it up with the edge of the blade on the outside. So it's not the best or be most beautiful thing that I've ever done, but a select stack of wood in here where it mates up with the top of this nice and flush is the best thing that I've found so far. What we do is we move it to the back about three quarters of the way down and I have two strips here that are about an eighth of an inch depth or three mil. And what I'm going to do is just place them right there and right there and use them as rails. And then we just slide or draw it all the way back and push it until it's flush with the front. And then push down to make sure that the drawer is nice and flat on the skids. Ordinarily I'd like to use an adjustable square to measure the depth to the front of the runner. However, it's just too big for this small drawer. So instead going to use this end of the caliper right here to give me a good depth measurement. And what I'm going to do is just made it up to the front of the drawer and keep on pushing until this hits. Then pull the runners out. Make sure that it's nice and flat. Do your measurement by pushing the runner back until this stops and drop a screw in. And once you have the two screws on both sides, all you have to do is take out the skids. and give it a test run. And like before, it's not the prettiest uh, tin of paint this time with some boards on top. Make sure it's flush. I'm pushing on back and add the skids. Okay, so it's now time to measure up for the drawer fronts, and what I'd like to do is to duck that measurement by about two millimeters or a sixteenth of an inch. That way it gives a little bit of room to play with when you set it up. Okay, so everything's cut, and all I want to do is take a straight edge from corner to corner to find the center. And that'll be your drill point for the handle. So to align drawer fronts, what I like to do is just take ordinary playing cards, put the drawer front in its place, and then see how many I can stuff in on one side. So I've got 12 right there, and what I like to do is try to keep it even. So 10, 
and that seems like a pretty snug fit. And for the side, I can fit six in. So what I'll do is take five out of here. One, two, three, four, five. Put it on the base, two sides. Three, four, five. And then take another five and put it on the top so I keep everything nice and balanced. And three on the other. And I'll have the perfect center point to drill. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to keep the cards here, have the knob installed, and then come around and install a screw. And then we'll do that progressively throughout. And that way the door front won't teeter or totter. So as you can tell, I got some drawers to finish up and a project to finish up as well. I do wish you well and we'll see you soon.